A few days after World Environment Day, Shillong has lost a major portion of its only boulevard as scores of stately English pine trees have been chopped off to make way for a new four-lane highway connecting India with Bangladesh via Doki. The rampant felling of trees at Pomlum in Upper Shillong, popularly known as Seven Mile, has triggered an intense debate in Meghalaya. While some people agree that wide roads are necessary for rapid movement, most people in Meghalaya argue that development can also take place without harming the environment. The issue has been widely discussed on social media as well and it was amongst the top trending issues of the state. Even though Chief Minister Konrad Sangma later intervened and assured that no further trees will be cut down, environmentalists lamented that a permanent damage has been done that cannot be reversed. I feel really sad and it's really bad cutting the trees. It destroys the nature beauty and the beauty of the place is gone. Those trees have been there for so many years. So suddenly if you cut the trees, the place will look different. The environment will be affected and so many after effects will be there. No, they should have proper planning before constructing the road. Planning should be there so that they'll see that even if the trees are cut down, very few trees will be cut down. Those are on the line of the road. But then cutting down trees just like that, it's really without proper planning, without uh, proper discussion or I don't know, without proper checking of the place or whatever they have done. Development also is required no? at the same time, but even at the cause of the environment and it, now it's painful to see that all the trees that has been for decades, no? 100 years, more than 100 years now, it's been cut like that. So the road also we have to broaden the road because it's been a very high time to for development and but like I said at the cost of nature then I cannot say what what can we and speaking on the issue, West Shillong MLA Mohendra Rapsang said that uh, such developments cannot be encouraged but added that the state government should also ensure that it plants 10 trees in place of one that has been chopped off in the name of progress. See, uh, we need development also. We need to ease up the traffic. We need expansion of roads as the number of vehicles are increasing. Cutting of trees has to be done to for expansion of roads. But replanting of trees has to be carried on by the government. If they cut one tree, they should grow 10 trees. So the more they cut the trees there, the more they have to plant more trees in the barren area. So that we cannot stop development. But we are sacrificing, no doubt. But if we cut trees, we should grow also more trees. That is what development is. On the other hand, State Forest and Environment Minister James Sangma allayed fears of the people who were concerned about the felling of trees in the Pomlum area of Upper Shillong. Due to unavoidable uh, you know, circumstances, we have to fell only eight number of those trees. Uh, and uh, there are two which are diseased, as I've mentioned. So these two diseased trees, along with these eight, will have to be felled. But um, we are uh, very, very conscious about the fact that these, uh, whatever trees are being felled, we have to compensate that. And for that, uh, the compensatory afforestation, afforestation will be taking place. And, uh, uh, you know, the government is very, very, uh, very concerned about this. Uh, and we are always very um, uh, mindful of the fact that uh, trees uh, are very important. That's why the right-of-way requirement also has been reduced and NHIDCL has been uh, very, very uh, cooperative to ensure that uh, that standard 45 to 60 meters from the median has been reduced to 24 meters. James Sangma also added that only those trees that have been chopped off which are absolutely necessary for widening the vital highway. He also assured that the state government will try to save as many trees as possible. And people have reached out to me also and I've told them that, uh, see, as many people as I've been able to tell, I've told them that 
uh, this is not the entire road. This is, uh, you know, for me also, it's it's a heritage. I mean, when you see, uh, you know, pictures, postcards of Shillong, you always have this uh, iconic, uh, you know, row of uh, trees that is there. And um, for us to lose that is losing a part of our, uh, you know, old Shillong heritage. So I'm also very concerned about this. And uh, and uh, rightly so, the Forest Department has ensured that, you know, in, with the ROW issue, uh, we have reduced it, as I said, from 35, uh, you know, to uh, 25, 24 meters. So those steps have been taken so that we can mitigate the amount of number of trees that we would have to cut. So those have been put in so that we're protecting that iconic tree line. And uh, uh, many people have felt that because uh, these eight trees were being cut down, maybe they may have felt that uh, you know the whole row of those uh, Cryptomeria Japanica trees are going to be cut down. Felling of trees at the Pomlum area in Upper Shillong for the construction of a four-lane road has become a hot topic of discussion in the state. While many argue against the cutting, of, cutting down of these iconic trees, there are many commuters who feel that this is necessary to ease the traffic in the city. Now it remains to be seen how the government will balance between the development and preserving the nature and beauty of this place. With camera person Francis Marvinyang, this is Roger K. Sangma in Shillong for Northeast Life.